Good morning, Rab Boisai. Ah, Lili Nishma, Simi, Miros, Yerus, Bas Mordechai. Few Gishmaka videos we have here. Last night, somebody sent this to me, but this individual happened to be on Zoom with two other kids. But here we go. <laughs> Granddaughters or children? Yeah. On mute, on mute, hold on. He's not, he's not with us. Right, children, no? <laughs> children or grandchildren? Because I'm my children. Children? Yeah. No, let's say the ah. Oh, where's my little one? Where's? Bring up my little one. The little one is sleeping. <laughs> All right. You ready? We're gonna do it live. You ready? Every month of Shabbos, every month of Shabbos, it's a family tradition. We gather around the table after Abdullah. We hear the way the da. Yevaldi. So you know what? I'm gonna do it. Something special. I'm doing something special for them. Let's see if they can do it. Good morning, Rab boys. Ah! Okay, good. Yivaldi. This was uh, this is an ad in the paper for your daily good morning, Rab boys. I rebelli Stefanski for quality sukkah, lighter sukkah. <laughs> and now for a real ad. Here we go. Check this out. Ah, Yivaldi. Sukkahposters.com. How can I help you? Hold on a second. Take me piece of that, please. The fancy? Yeah, we got plenty of those. We'll get it out to you right away. Right? We gotta get those Rabbi Stefanski posters. The what? The Rabbi Stefanski poster. Yep, the good looking look, Rabbi. Don't touch that though. Oh, no, well, no, I, 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 yeah. no, go, come on, shake a leg. We gotta go. I'm just being rushed. The man's piece. Got it. All right, this is it. Car, car right Whoa, okay, we're good, All we're right. good. You, this. Here's your handsome Rabbi poster. Have a good day. You too. <laughs> All right. Rabbi Sai, we said Utshuva. Tvila. I'm just trying to get it. No, it's, it's longer. They cut it. They cut it. It's Lundus. It's a Soviet. It's Lundus. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No, no, they said Stefanski, know, but the guy, but he told the guy, the good-looking one, so he took Cerulli. <laughs> it's more like grade, you're saying. It's grade. It's grade, uh-huh. It's, it's, it's above our level. Uh, I got it. <laughs> so those guys, the guys that need to understand, understand, they buy, they know where to buy posters. That's what he's saying. Yeah, it's good. Got it. Um, so, this is the time of the year, about you say, that people increase their tzedakah. Tshuva, tefillah, tzedakah. Where do you give tzedakah? Where are you supposed to give tzedakah? To? MDY. MDY. Why? Why? Okay. Because this includes everything. This is Kiruv Kroivim. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Per month. We are doing a month now. You don't want it? I want it, but month. I need to put you on a monthly. You want it or not? If, you, if I could put this on a monthly, how do I do this on a monthly? We're doing monthly now. Hold on a second. You money, you don't make trayim. If you want the money, take the money. I'm not looking to raise cash. I don't know what to do with this. Okay. You know, push it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's great. You give it to the client. What am I going to do with it? Um, oh, so I just want to... I'm going to start reading out the names from last year. Bezer Hashem, all names are going to go into the next Gemara, maybe Sanhedrin, I think. And we're going to start from the top. Reuven Harrison gives $1,000 a month. But that's about it. Then it drops. Shmuel Sugar, 401 a month. Adam Kaufman, 360 a month. Tzvi Jacobs, 360. Michael Colvin, 300. Shmuel Sugar, another one. Yeah. 300. Joel Schwartz, 300. Avi Berger, 300. Stefanski, Schwachemises, 300. Alan Listhaus, 300. Yona Weiss, 207. Steven Rosenthal, 200. Maradna Cash, 200. 
This is besides other monies that Murad gives and all these other people give. This is a monthly. This is to be Yoitza monthly. Chaim Weissman, 200. Yol Wallander, Wallhandler, 200. Avrom, I think it says, Solkowitz, 200. Yossi Azulai, 180. Hanan Averbrach, 180. Stephen Fuchs, 180. Alan Lifshitz, a different, uh, it's a different name. Alan Lifshitz, 180. Levy Kaufman, 180. Andrew Jakobowitz, 150. Ben Landy, 150. Shimon Braun, Shimmy Braun, 150. Sorrell Caller, 150. Shuli Wazerthal, 101. Tzvi Shear, 101. We'll pick that up from tom- tomorrow. There's a lot of names. Baruch Hashem, a lot of names. This is, uh, MDY uh, depends heavily on these. Um, it adds up, Baruch Hashem, it adds up to the monthly. We started, I remember Mendy was telling me, what are you doing this for? Well, it's a big deal, you're gonna get a couple hundred bucks. No, it's big, Baruch Hashem. So if you wanna, if you're looking for a place that, a big bang for your buck, you get a, somebody to learn Torah, changes mishpacha, give him chizuk. So you could give over here. What else do we have here? My name is, Israel from Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I joined this year Kiddushin Daflam Dvav. Just a year ago, in my spare time, I made up for the rest of Kiddushin. Although I tried many times to start learning daily, I was never successful until my son-in-law introduced me to the Dav and to listen to Yashir any time, even when you're on the road. I have never missed a Daf since. It's the first time in years that I opened the Gemara on Yontif. I want to say it's already uh, about 10 people came over to me, including this individual. Yesterday, another two people they told me that this is the first Rosh Hashanah that they opened up a Gemara. Your Talmud, Israel, Gemar Chasim Toiva, also known as Yisurumaye from B&H, and no, I'm just kidding. P.E.S. And of course, I couldn't forget to have you in mind in davening Rosh Hashanah after it did change my life. After all, it did change my life. Thank again. Thanks again. Yishkoyach Gudel. Here we go, Rabbi Isai. What time is it? Givaldik. Okay, I don't think we have uh, anything major else. That one will do it a different day. The Kohen of the Month sponsored by Binyam Rosenfeld. That's locha in business. Binyam Rosenfeld, I just saw, he donated uh, 500 Gemaras for Sanhedrin. 500 Gemaras. He's a young guy, he's 22, 23 years old. The Mesechta for saving speedy return of all the hostages. Parasachoidesh. Rosenfeld for the that come from supporting last day official Mayor Father of M D Y Menashe Blaustein from L A and Rufur Shleima Tinoik Ben Alta Nechama Parasayoyim Yitzchok Log as a schus for Rufur Shleima for my mother Esther Bas Bela Thank Hashem for the incredible chesed he did for me a year ago today. I don't know if he means October 7th, or what day is it today? It's early, early Tishrei. Paras Hayoyim, Ira Greenstein, Lili Nishmat, Mordechai, Ben Yitzchok, Zichron Levrocha, Mortimer, Greenstein on his yard site. That's how you pronounce it? M-O-R-T-I-M-E-R. Huh? Yeah, Mortimer. Art of the month for schools for rebellion, the whole MDY staff to continue to make Torah sound joy over so many. Rabbi Yisrael, holding the mission of Kuf Gimel Amit Beis, the goal is to get to the Mishnah and Dav Kuf Dalal Amit Beis. Mishnah to Mishnah. How do you force somebody to buy a piece of real estate? How? Can you think of a way that you, somebody's forced to buy a piece of real estate? Says the Mishnah, Beis Kur Ofer Ani Moich Elcha Mida Bachevel. So we'll see. That basically, there are three, three lashonas, three ways a person could say, I'm selling you a base core. A base core is, we said, 75,000 square ama, three football fields, five, four to seven acres. It's a nice chunk of land. You could say, I'm selling you a base core, like on the bottom, green. That's not in the Mishnah. I'm selling you a base core offer. The Mishnah says two cases. They have different halachas. Base court, midu b'chevel, with a measuring stick. I'm going to measure. So the guy says, I'm measuring a base court offer. So he's measuring. And if he's two inches off, you have to return. If he gave you less, he has to give you more. If you gave him more, take back. I said, I'm going to measure it. 
if a person says, base kor hein chaser hein yaser, you say, I'm giving you berach, berach. I don't know how to measure. I have, a, I, have I can measure 75,000 square amma. That's, that's, uh, that's hard. We'll do something berach. Now, berach, berach, but how much berach? What does it mean, berach? Well, if the guy by mistake gave him two kor, that's okay. If you gave him half a kor, that's okay. So, base kor of ani moyichol hachamid b'chevel. I'm going to measure it. Piches kol shuhu yinakel. If I gave him even a tiny drop off, I got to take off the price. If you gave him a little bit more land, he gave him 76,000 square feet. You have to give him back. 75, that's it. Interesting, Shaila I saw. Because the Rajbam over here says there's a difference between real estate and metaltalim. When it comes to real estate, the Rajbam argues on some Rishonim, including the Rambam. When it comes to real to to metaltalin, if a person makes a mistake, then the, 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 the deal is over. It's bottle. In real estate, you say, ah, you can get away with making a mistake. You just pay off the difference. According to the Rambam, there's no difference between real estate and metaltalin. So here's the Shia law. It happens a lot here. I know with me especially. People that change dollars, right? There's a lot of dollar changing. Shkoyach. Thank you, Gary. The clock is working. Call up a guy. Uh, I want to come by. I want to, I want to change $5,000 into shekel. What's the rate? The rate, three, 365. Yeah, okay. Come there, give me my dollars. He gives me shekel at the rate of 365. You come home, turn on your computer. It's not 365. What's up with 365? You're supposed to get 370. Not with the honest guys, but you know what happens? Sometimes I change with my friends. My friends here have shekel and I give them dollars. You know, it depends. What? I, didn't, I hear what you're saying, but no. I, I said, isn't the rate this? And he says, yeah. He says, you're, you're a klutz. Uh, it goes by the, by the rate. I don't know. What the, I'm not making up the rate. I, I said 365. I want 365. I'm saying 365 because I know that that's what they're saying on the news. I thought that's what it was. That was two days ago. Everything changes. I'm basing it on the rate. That's how you usually give it to me. That's how I usually buy. I, I just I said that, and he said, you know what, let me take advantage of this loser. He doesn't know the rate. Okay. Does he have to give you back the money or not? And how much? It's less than a shtos. Less than a shtos. So the answer is, think about it for a second. It's a trick question. Does he have to give it back? Does the shtos work here or not? And the answer is that it's a dover be minion. It's, 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 a, it's a thing, it's a certain amount. I'm giving you 365 or instead of 370. It's not a, a carton of milk that doesn't have a, a price on it, whatever. I'm, I'm a shtos. We said, uh, a dozen eggs, if I give one more, it doesn't go by shtos. It's, that's a dover she bemido. There's a dover she beminion. There's no shtos on dover she bemido, she beminion, she So, how much do you return? So I think they say that you, he has to return the difference. It's not bottled the whole thing. Like the Rambam sort of, like, okay, fine. It's not something to think about, in the, right? Because we learn these halachas and we say it, but we don't really know, like apply it to reality. If it's something determined, if there's a market and there's a number to it. It's 370 today. So if I take 371, I don't care that it's just not, it's over. You, you can't cheat on something that's a double shabbat. But that's not metaltalin. What is it? You're comparing it to it's, it's, it's called a metaltalin. What is it? It's a deal. We made a deal. I don't know. I guess. Why? Mice. What is it? It's not real estate. What else could it be? I don't know. Something in, in between. Real estate, eh? It's not that way. Real estate, not. Piches koshu. You knock it. It depends. If I said I'm giving you something exact. That's already a midah. Here, midah. I'm giving you a midah. I'm giving you 70. I'm giving you 75,000 square uh, ama. So then if I give a little bit more, a little bit less, we have to make it up. Now it's another case. He said, I'm selling you a kur. A little more, a little less. A filu. Oh. So that doesn't mean a, a little more, a little less. Everybody here in the room agrees that if I sold you one core and by mistake I gave you two core, it's not a good sale. And if I, if I told you I was going to give you a core and I gave you a half a core, not a good. 
So what's with Yasser and Chaser? Afilu piches roi valisa, a hoiser roi valisa, he gioi. To put it in layman's terms, if he gave him 4% more or 4% less, we're good. Everything is good. Yeah, if I sell you uh, rotten strawberries, I have up to 10%. So in real estate, I have up to... That was yesterday's, really. We were talking about bad stuff. Bad um, holes in the ground. Boulders. What percentage am I allowed? Anybody remember? In boulders and, and holes in the ground? 2.2%. Over here, I didn't give you bad. I gave you more. So more or less. And I even said, I'm getting a berach. I'm giving you a base core berach, he said. Chaser uh, yaser. Up to 4%. Let's just see inside how it works. Don't feel bad if you don't understand this. It's not it's super important. Just remember 4%. So, a base core comprises 70, uh, 30 saw. 30 saw per base core. Okay? It's 30 boxes in one base core. Now, if we zoom in onto one saw box, a saw is built out of six kav. A quarter, reva, like we say revius, revius halug. Revius means a revius of a certain something. Reva, a quarter over here, doesn't mean a quarter of a core, and doesn't mean a quarter of a saw. It means a quarter of a kav. Which is, you take a kav and you split it into four boxes, and you come out with one tiny box, one green box. Now, that little quarter, green box, Per, that No. This is for, you take that green box and you put it in every single saw box. 30 of them. 30 of them. 30 times one quarter is how much? Seven and a half. Here you go, seven and a half kav. You're taking a quarter of a kav. Each nachamal, I'm going back, Mendy. Each saw, each box of saw, there's 30 saw, there's 30 boxes of saw, each saw has a quarter of a kav. All together, you take all the quarters of a saw, 30 times a quarter, how much is 30 times a half? 15. So 30 times a quarter is 7 and a half. It's half of 15. So it's, it's a 7 and a half kav total. If I mess up, I give you more, I give you your base core plus seven and a half kav, or minus, or minus then the Seder, which is 4%, Barak 4%, we'll call it 4%, just to, huh? Or 124. 124th is mm-hmm. the accurate way to do it, but I, I like 4%. Correct, 124th. Okay, now, Yoisim Rikan, what if I gave you a little bit more than seven and a half kav, or a little bit more than this, uh, Reva per saw, yasa The buyer, the buyer has to make a calculation and give back to the to the seller. Now, who decides what to get back over here? He made a mistake, and the seller gave him eight kav more than he was supposed to. He gave him four and a half percent more. Now there's two options. Either he gets real estate back, he gets eight kav back, or he gets cash. He gets $800. Which one? And who decides? The seller decides. Why? The seller could decide, I want cash. What's the point? Because what is he going to do with seven and a half kav? There's three football fields. And in the middle of the three football fields, he's going to give him uh, 10 feet of... What is he going to do there? He's going to schlep in, uh, drone in a, a tractor and start plowing 10 feet and then making something... It's not, it's worthless. So since it's worthless, we force it. Here's a, here's a situation, we force the buyer to buy it and pay him cash for it. Stam, the famous Maisa, if we're talking about once in a while, we have to say this Maisa, the... Rabbi Rucham was on a train, and he was, uh, I don't know if he opened up the window, whatever happened, and one of his gloves flew out the window. Uh, no, they say about this one and that one. It's just enough of the Chavz Chaim. It's Rabbi Rucham. There's too many stories about the Chavz Chaim. It's Rabbi Rucham. 
It happened in Alexander Rebbe, if you're Alexander, you have the Satmer Rebbe, if you're Satmer. It happened with Rabbi Rucham, if you're Litvak and you learned in the mirror. Huh? If you're empty, why did it happen? To that's why they said Chavz Chaim. Rebbe Shuli Brodenstein was on a train, and his glove flew out the window. And whoever knows Rebbe Shuli knows. The chesed, he's constantly thinking about chesed. It didn't take him a millisecond. And he took his other glove and he threw it out the window so the other guy should have enough from it. A regular human being would think about it maybe, if he thought about it, it would take him five minutes, two minutes. By then, the train is uh, 10 kilometers away. Threw it out the window. When you have nothing to do, then have a chaser. I'm not going to enjoy it. Let the other guy enjoy it. I can't benefit from this karaka, so let... Now they're going to cut it, and they're going to send it to Sruli. No, that's Sruli, you have to go back. Okay, fine. <laughs> you actually sent me, I forgot. I'll send him now. Sruli sent me a message. Uh, he says, this time of the year. He sent me that, that clip. He says, yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's already starting. So, okay. Uh, good event, Karka. That the seller should have the upper hand. And, you know, and before I forget to say this, I say this once in a while also, it's, it's Erev Yom Kippur. It's a between, it's a Sersim uh, Some people are not going to like to hear this. But at the end of the day, if somebody owes money to someone else, he has a chiyu of their rights to pay back. To the point that if he owes money, and he has a house, he has an apartment, a nice dira here in Eretz Yisrael, but he possibly can't afford to pay back, he must sell his apartment and pay back. So the, 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 the Malva could also say, he's like, look, I, pay me back cash, and if not, I want your apartment. Shimshir basada, beis tisha kabim, if... Oh, so here's a new halacha. So let, let's look at this for a second. We spoke about that you can mess up, the seller can mess up up to seven and a half kav, and then a little bit more than seven and a half kav. Um, then it's all over. But now if we go from seven and a half kav, just one and a half kav more, which is nine kav, uh, not nine and a half, nine kav, Maybe it means a little bit more than nine. Nine kav. Nine kav is already a field that you could plant in it. It's, it has its own purpose. So now the owner, the seller doesn't have the upper hand. Before, he had nothing to do with it. It was like that one glove. What am I going to do with it? But now, no. You could plant a nine kav. So I cannot force the buyer to buy this nine kav. Shemshir basad, beis tishu kavim. Ubegina base chatzikav. Oh, my favorite gina. I, I love talking about this, but I couldn't find. If somebody has a valid picture, please send it in. Here, this is my favorite gina of all time. I just found that Brook, Brooklyn, New York. There's a little gina going on here. People are very proud of the gina. It's one foot, two feet by two feet with weeds. Even this one has weeds. Gishmak. I already said, you know, they have cabbage in the winter. It's gishmak stuff. Purple cabbage. You can see the, the window air conditioner there. There's no, they don't have, um, usually they don't have central air conditioning. That's, that's just true. We live like, over there, it's in the window. It makes all that noise. You go, you slap, it falls out sometimes this way. Kids are, this is New York. Look at this. It's all concrete. But a little bit, you got a little bit of grass over there. A gina is much less than a, than a sada. Gina base chatzi kav. If you take a look over here, Stam, like, uh, where are we? Oh. If you're a sada, you're selling, uh, you're doing wheat, so the, the shear is nine kav. If you're in a, in a gina, in a garden, take a look what happens on the right top corner. It turns, that little guy, ooh, I don't know what happened, oh. It's a chazi kav, it's a tiny amount that's enough to tell the, the, the seller, you take care of it, you take it. I'm not, take, I'm not buying it. It's chashem. Ugdiri Rekiva, base roiva, it's a quarter of a kav, half of this thing on the, on the screen with the arrow. Magzulay Zakarka. 
says the Mishnah finally, We said, let's go back. Remember, I just remember talking to Mendy about this in Middle Shear. We said that every saw gets a roiva. Every saw gets a little tiny quarter of a kav. Not only, so now, what if you went above that? You have to give it back. So what should the Mishnah say if we don't look inside the Mishnah? Not only do you have to give back everything above that little box, but you also have to give back the boxes. The Mishnah says the opposite. Not only do you have to give back the boxes, but even when you went above and beyond the boxes. Of course. You're starting backwards. The Gemara says it's actually a mistake. You have to read it that way. Not only do you give the boxes back, we, we said the boxes, if you have that little green box, is okay. It's part of the mechira. Just if you go above that, you went a little bit above that green box, you gave more than a roiva, then you have to give everything back. So what's the chiddush? The chiddush is not on the added more than the box. The chiddush is on the actual green box, that typically you get to keep the green box. Now you have to give it back. Ibailu. As the Gemara, base course tamamai. So, let's go back to these three Lashonas. We said in the Mishnah, two cases. Base kur, mida b'chevel. I'm exact with a measuring tape. That we said, exact is exact. You have to give back any difference. Then we said another case of red. Base kur, hein chaser, hein yaser. He said, mefurish. I don't want to be exact. So it's not exact. How much more can you go? How much less? A reva kav. Per sa. Seven and a half. Four percent, we said. What if a guy doesn't say anything? He just says, I'm selling you base core offer. He doesn't say, I'm exact with a measuring tape, and he doesn't say, I'm not exact. Uh, he doesn't use the word berach, and he doesn't use the word measuring tape. He just says, like in green, base core offer. What's the halacha? Do we compare it to the blue, or do we compare it to the red? Do we say that it's exact, or he meant berach? So l'chaira, you can prove from the Mishnah. There's two cases in the Mishnah, and say, look, the mission said, when you're exact, then you have to give it back. But if you, if you don't say the word exact, you just say green, parev, then you don't have to give it back. That's a great raya. But the problem is, you also have to bring a raya from the red. The red says that you don't have to give it back when the guy said be'erech. But if you don't say be'erech, it's mashma. If you do the green, then you do have to give it back. So the kids say we have a stereo between the reish and the safe, and there's no raya. Ibarilu, beis kur stamamai, toshma. I'll prove it from our Mishnah. It says in the Mishnah, base kurof, ani marich alacha, midah bechevel. That's the top one, the blue one. Pachit is called shuyinakia, yotze called shuyachzer. Yes, it's exact. Exact is exact. So anything above 75,000 ami, you have to give back. Or less, give back. He has to pay. He has to give him the difference. It says the Gemar, hostama, you can be medayik, that the, the bottom case, the base kurof, or that you don't say anything, you don't say exact, not exact, uh, then it's similar to the middle case. And what's the middle case? That I could get 4% in either direction. Okay, great Raya, but I have a problem. If you're going to be Medayik from the Mishnah, you have to be Medayik also from the Seif, and the Mishnah is Seifa. So what about the second case, the red case? He says, I don't want to be exact. I'm going to be approximately, approximate sale of a base core. So therefore, I could go above, I could give... Anything within 4%, I have 4% leeway above him and, and below. If it's uh, 4%, it's a sale. But if I didn't say I want to do an approximate sale, I just said let's, I want to sell a core. This wouldn't be any mechila. There's no 4% leeway. So from the Rashi's mashma, there is leeway. From here's mashma, there's no leeway. like I cannot learn from the Mishnah. Next, Toshma. Over here, base kur offer any That's our case. So, let's go to this chart. This brisa, this brisa brings three cases: base kur ani moicher, kib base kur ani moicher, or hein chaser ani moicher. Base core is our case. He doesn't, he doesn't specify. Parav. I'm selling you a base core. It doesn't say exact, does it? Ki base core means approximate. And hein chaser, check it out. All three cases have the same exact halacha. That what? 
Toshma, base core of any moichelacha. So that this should answer our question. This is the case that we're looking for. Base core of any parav. He doesn't say exact and he doesn't say proximate. He just says base core offer. Or second case, ki base core offer any moichelacha. I'm selling you. Hey, chos saying yos any moichelacha. I'm selling you. Three separate cases. Afilu pichas reiv lesai. Reiv reiv lesai yigiyai. There's a four percent leeway up and down. Almost. I'm not making chos and yos. Mefurish. Here's the case, the top case, that's our case that we're looking for. It says there's a 4% leeway, even though you didn't say approximate, and you get 4%. It says, no, these are not three cases, these are in fact two cases. It's an explanation. One case is to explain the other. When a person says the first case, when is it like he says approximate? He's going, no, no, hey, chaz and yasser. It's not just base core prior. It's base core together, the, the, the blue together with the green. Hey, chaz and yasser, that's one case. Masculine Rav Ashi doesn't make any sense what you're saying. Him kena ni moicha lecha, ani moicha lecha, lamali, look at this chart. Each case, the price that finishes off, ani moicha lecha, I'm selling you. If the blue and the green are one case, it should say base core, hey, chaz and yasser, it should say ani moicha once. Says Ravashi, these are three separate cases. And in all cases, the, the Bryce of Paskin, there's a 4% leeway. So when you ask me, what if a person doesn't say, I'm selling you this base core approximately, or he doesn't say, I'm selling you this base core with a measuring stick? He just said, I'm selling you a base core. Does he get a 4% leeway? The answer is yes. Hmm? No, three cases. Why? Why do you say that? I don't. I don't see that. I'm not learning that. No, it's an imoichelacha. An imoichelacha. It's three cases. That's how I'm learning. I'm learning like that. Marzim marzulei mois. Ask the Gemara if there's a there's a small piece of land that's seven and a half, a little more than seven and a half. Kav, you give it back to the seller. Why? Because we have, give him the upper hand. Why shouldn't we care, be concerned about the buyer? We just read the famous Rabbi Saul Salander's Kedai to say, How do you say Ovel in English? Doesn't do Huh? No, 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 not over with the aleph, with the ayin. He, na avlo. he doesn't do an avlo. He doesn't do any wrong. Okay, it's a little, I'm looking for a better one. Okay, iniquity. Huh? That's no, uh, like, a, oh, avlo. Okay, fine. Kishboko doesn't do avlo. As Rabbi Sol Salanter, chiddush. Kishboko doesn't do avlo. Of course he doesn't do avlo. He's, he's not a human being. What do you mean he doesn't do avlo? He says, Mardik. Sometimes a person does something wrong. And he, and he deserves a punishment. Let's say, Lo a person, I don't know what. He, he did something that he, he has to they give him a, a, a sentence, a jail sentence. When you give a person a jail sentence, or let's say a machla, Lo a machla. Oh, but what about his wife? What about his children? They suffer just as much. Kishboch doesn't do oval. Kishboch takes that into the and if a person, the whole picture, and if a person's wife doesn't deserve it, he won't get it. And then if the, the children, whatever that means, it's a whole, it's the whole picture. He, t- he takes the whole thing into consideration. So it's not just, we, 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 we care about the, the seller, we care about, because everyone cares about everybody equally. Everybody's in the, is in the picture. Zog Vatanya. That's our seven and a half. Seven and a half equals four percent. For every core, for every thirty saw, he added by mistake seven and a half core, seven and a half cap. Uh, oh, it's, just, it's the sale stands. If it's more, it says over here. It doesn't say the seller. We don't force the seller. It says, we, they're both equal. We force the seller, we force the buyer. 
So why, why do we say in our Mishnah that the, the, the seller has the upper hand? He decides. Says the Gemara beautifully. If you want to force the buyer to buy your real estate, you're saying, I have nothing to do with this. It's too small of a, of a plot. It's only seven and a half kav. I'm forcing you because of zen and zel chaser. I want you to buy it. But at what rate? The real estate prices dropped tremendously. They went, they're half the price today. Yesterday, when we did the deal, it was uh, $1,000 for this seven and a half acre. Today, for the seven and a half calf. Today, it's 500. Should he pay the 1,000? Like the time that we made the deal, or the 500? Oh. We've, who has the upper hand? The, the, the seller has the upper hand. We're, we're not going away from that. The seller has the upper hand. When it comes to the pricing, the buyer has the upper hand. The buyer gets the cheaper price. He gets to pay what the price is today. He can go buy it somewhere else for that price. You can't force him to buy something and, and, and force him on yesterday's price. You want me to take it? Fine. But give me the good price. Interesting Shiloh. A guy go, walks into the store, he says, uh, sale. Two for one. What do they call it? Mifza. Chad plus chad. Buy one, get one free. So he goes in, takes two, and walks out without paying. Came in uh, Los Angeles. Yeah? <laughs> so now he has harata. He's clapping a chait. He says, I have sugar for $20. <laughs> I, was in, uh, I was in Los Angeles. Uh, it's like uh, whoever lives in America, it's not even a chiddush. For me, I was shocked. I'm in 7 Eleven with my wife, and I see the guy getting irritated. He starts screaming. This woman walks out with five bottles of, of liquor, just walks right out, and she curses him on the way, like, shut up. Like, who are you, Bakal? You're going to tell me to stop? And he starts calling 911. And she walked slowly out the store. And people with her, they were all part of it. They were trying to distract him, giving credit cards. And they all, they walked out with, like, that's how it is now. No revive. Anyway, what? Uh, yeah, I'm saying, uh, I saw the first time, I only saw one it's, 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 it hurts. So, guys, Harat, here's the question. One plus one. Now how much does he have to pay? Does he pay the sale price? Or maybe the sales for mention to pay. He's a Ghanav. The sale, it's a special thing for people that come to the store, not for people that took the uh, Shaila. Okay, what do you guys say? What does Adam say? He should pay for two. Most people say for two. He should bring it back. back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he drank, he drank it. Anyway, Zuck the Gemara. Oh, says Gemara Tanya, but wait a minute, we have something that says almost the opposite. The Gemara says not the opposite. What's the opposite? When he forces the buyer to, buy, to take his seven and a half kav, he gives it to him, and he has to pay him the amount of when they sold it. So in our case, when he sold it, it was $1,000 for the seven and a half, now it dropped to 500, he has to give him 1,000. No, 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 you didn't understand. The seller always, the, the buyer always gets the better price. Just the reason why, in this case, he has to pay like at the time of the sale is because at the time of the sale, it was actually cheaper. It was $500 for the 7.5 half Now it went up to 1000 so He says, listen, you're forcing me to buy it. I want the cheaper price. And in that case, he has the upper hand. But in fact, the seller always has the upper hand. He decides whether he wants real estate or he wants cash. But if he decides he wants real estate, he has to take, and the, the price change, if the, there's a price change, then... The buyer has the upper hand, he gets the cheaper price. Shimshir Vasada base Tisha Kabin. Omravuno. Yeah, we spoke about, if you want, we can remind Oilam. This is what the mission talks about. Seven and a half kav, this is a sale. But if it goes up to nine kav, there's more, then it's already something chashav, it's a chashav piece of land, and then he could give it back to the seller. Omravuno Tisha Kabin Shamru. Oh, so the question is, is it relative or not? Is a nine kav, even if, let's say, he sold two kur, a giant, ten kur? 
There's a 4% leeway on every kur. So if it's 10 kur, it would be uh, 75 kav, right? Because every kur you get 7.5 kav times 10. If it's 10, I sold you 10 kur, 75 kav. It's all relative. So it goes like this. If a person, if he gave him more than this roiva, yeah? Let's go back to the roiva. Where's my roiva? Can't see it there. Oh, here, roiva. If he gave him more than a little green square per saw, and it doesn't add up to nine kav, then the deal is a deal. So the, the buyer must purchase it. If it adds up to more than nine kav, there's nine kav, then he could push it and give it to the seller. Why? Because it's davar chashu. But what if, what if it's less than that green square? Let's say he sold him two kur, so it adds up to less than a green square per saw, but it's more than nine, 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 nine kav. Then what? Then what? It's nine kav, it's nine kav, it's dava chashav, but it's spread out over more than a kur. So since it's a dava chashav, then the, no, so he says, v'yikim milsi yatir l'tishis kavim hadri. It comes out, will come out, that if it's less than a roiva, less than a roiva, but more than a nine kav, yeah? If you do the math, it comes out to less than the green, but more than nine, then the guy that buys it, he gets the nine kav. Typically, if there's a nine kav, you don't have, you, he could push it off. He could say, I don't want it. You take it. Huh? Less than 4%. Oh, so that's the shaila. Is it relative to the 4% or not? Maybe I'll say it's nine kav. It's a dove of it's a Dover Chashuv, even though I bought 400 football fields. He says, no. If it's, if, it's a larger, if it's a larger amount than a Kur, and you have more than nine Kav, but it's not, with the, it's not relative to the Reva per saw, it's less than a Reva per saw, so then the buyer takes care of it, not the seller. Oh, sponsors. Whatever happens with Iran, and we need a, we need Rachmi Shemayim. We need a Geula. You know, I saw, I should, maybe, I, I should, I wanted to write it down. The, uh, uh, I saw a very emotional hespid yesterday from a woman who lost her son, uh, Erev Yantif, and her husband was nifter, was killed in a terrorist attack a few years ago. The way she ended off the thing, she said, she, t- she told her husband, here, uh, um, go be makabal upon him, your son. The way she spoke, but she said, I have full emuna. I believe in the Rebbein Shalalem, and everything he does is l'tayva. Uh, unbelievable. I have to... Uh, Somebody should maybe write it down for me. I'll, I'll read it. I'll write it down myself, maybe, if I have time. Okay. It says in our Mishnah, Shimshir, the base teaches Kavim, right? We said if it's a large amount, it works out to nine Kavim, then you give it back to the seller. Tell the seller, you deal with it. It's a, it's a large amount. Ask the Gemara, and we're going to have the same question three times, but it's the same kind of riot, same answer. Isn't it even in a case? Look, I can give it back to the seller even though it's a very large amount. It must be talking about, no, not, it's not a stereo to what he just said. to it's, it's only because he sold him a small amount. But if a small or larger amount, he cannot return it to the seller. He takes care of it himself. Same right. He said, if it's a garden, then it's a much smaller amount that you give back to the seller. It's a chatzikav. Not the even though it's, it's a larger amount. Lo, it's only in the smaller amount. 
We said in the Mishnah, base Reva, it's not a half a cup, it's a quarter of a cup. My love is only so, Lord is only chazi so. Okay. Boy Ravashi. So the Venasis Gino. Gino Venasis, so the Mai. Here we have a beautiful picture. Here's a guy who has a soda, right? He's growing wheat. All of a sudden, it, it got a water source. So because it has a water source, it starts growing beautiful stuff, expensive things. That's a gino, it became a garden. When he bought it, it was only able to do something. It was only able to, you're only plant a weak stuff, like wheat. Now you're able to plant the good stuff, vegetables. And this is extra. So at what rate are we doing it? Are we doing it with the chazi kav rate or the seven and a half kav rate? My, or the opposite, he bought something expensive like a gino, and if there's a chazi kav extra, you have to, it's all over, but it, 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 now it lost the water source. And now you can only plant wheat. My, take it. Tana. We learned, If you have a pencil, it's good to write over here. Kolshu, because I'm just saying for me. Uh-huh. When I read it, Kolshu uh-huh. to me means Kolshu, means a, a small amount. No, Kolshu over means a little bit more than the Reva of the Kav. So if I was next to, the, here, picture. There's a buyer and a seller. The seller lives on the left side, the buyer lives on the right. The guy on the left sells him a whole field and, and there's extra. The, he sold him a little bit too much. The, uh, you know, a little bit more than seven and a half kav. So th- this is for the next case, but he gives it back to him. Why? Because it's right next to this field. What's the whole taina? So what am I going to do with seven and a half kav? Seven and a half kav is nishtahi nishtahi. I can't do anything with it. What do you mean you have nothing to do with it? You have 25 acres on the left. Here, let me just give you a little bit more. Now you have 20, 26 acres. Whatever it is, seven and a half kav more. So you can do that. Boy, Ravashi. Boy, Maoshi Great. But what happens when you have something like this? The, the seven and a half kav is depicted in the, the wheat. That's a little extra. I want to give it back to you. The problem is there's a, there's a, a thing of water between me and you. Is that considered that we're, you're connected to it? Very interesting. My chavrusha pointed this out to me because I would have never remembered. This is enough. Pegimel and Bez. If you look all the way on top, Pegimel and Bez. Same exact question by the same person. On a completely different sugya. Same four questions. Oh, I could have probably pulled some pictures from there. I think he did a Rikhva de Dikla, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe a different time. But anyway, uh, this is Amas Amayim. Yeah, a whole river going through from top to bottom. So maybe it breaks up the field. You can't say, oh, take, take the little piece of wheat and put it on the other side. We already did this Gemara, explained it. It's Mamish the opposite. Again, if there's seven and a half kav, the, the buyer keeps it. He has to pay for it. If it's eight kav, he gives it back. So I'm, I'm asking you a question. What comes first? Not only, the Mishnah says, not only does he have to give back the seven and a half kav, he also has to give back the half kav. The opposite. Not only does he have to give back the extra above the seven and a half kav, the, ha- the half a kav, that makes it eight kav, but he also can give back the seven and a half kav. That's how it should say. It's just, it's, it's written backwards. Tabi lai, it's mamish fakert. Tani rabbi rabbi nachmi, right? Lois ham moisib avad machzor. Not only does he get to give back the extra one minute, I just want to say one quick thing. Machzor lo is kola revoim kulon. The Miram Rothenberg says over here, it happens, I know, in America. Somebody told me in Israel, it doesn't really happen. You know, in America, you have like an employee. He earns, let's say, uh, it's $50,000. So he's in this bracket, tax bracket. You give him a raise, you're actually hurting him. Now he goes into the other, now he... You, you gave back the $17,000 that you lent, it, that the guy lent you. He said, I don't want the money back. Your guy invested in Oh, yeah, but that's something else. That's for, not because of the tax, tax bracket, because he has nothing to do with the money. No, no, that's something else. I'll explain to you later. So this is what it says over here. Sometimes, well, he says in a, in a city, a guy owes 
every, every person in the city has to pay a certain you know, tax to the city. But if he doesn't earn money, he only earns you know, $5,000 a month, he doesn't have to. What, what happens when he earns $6,000 a month? He can't say, oh, I'm, not, I'm only going to pay on the extra 1000 No, then you pay on the whole 6000 That's what it says over here also. Once you go over the seven and a half kav, now you give back all eight kav, the whole thing. Rabbi Isai, have a wonderful day.